schools of thought or individual works of philosophy that I feel may be misguided. Indeed, I can find one immediately that I take it to be uh, right up the spout, as John Searle would say. And that is um, the account of consciousness in terms of the computer, to give it that initial clarification. It's an account of consciousness which has its home in a theory called functionalism, which is also an idea as to what consciousness is. And what the theory is, is um, something that takes off from the idea that we typically identify things as being things that have certain causes and certain effects. And we do very typically speak of bits of our conscious life, for example, fear as the effect of some perception, say of a lion or something like that. And fear is equally that which is a cause of getting out of there fast if you can. It seems to me a remarkably batty view because everything is a function in that sense. That camera is a function. My spectacles are a function. Everything can be characterized in terms of its causes and its effects. With respect to consciousness about, it's that it's different. It has a fundamental difference in kind from other boring causes and effects, like the chair I'm sitting on. So functionalism, or the philosophy of cognitive science, is something an individual work or project that I do indeed feel to be misguided. I think, frankly, it's bonkers if it hadn't been taken up by a lot of rather uninformed neuroscientific thinkers about the subject, it would never have existed.